It was tough to find any dry eyes at this vet hospital today in Columbus, North Carolina, where Polk County deputies came together to give a send off to one of their retired canines. Ike, the German Shepherd, dedicated his life to service, so when it came time for his final ride, the sheriff says it was time to show him the honor and respect that he deserves. Well, I think, um, I think uh, as a memorial and a respect to Ike, it's sort of like uh, his last ride. Ike was a good dog. And, uh, um, Holding back tears is not so easy on this day, a day Sheriff Donald Hill and his deputies knew was coming. I know I owe my life to that dog, so, so it's, it's hard. On this last day of Ike's journey, memories come rushing back of how it all started five years ago when Ike was a young recruit ready to serve Polk County. They want to work. That's, that's what they want to do. That's their biggest joy every day is going to work. Ike worked for three years helping to bust up drug activity until one day the seizure started and only grew worse. At the ripe age of seven, Ike had to retire. People need to realize how important these dogs are. I don't, you know, you know, you can go back law enforcement, military, you know, people would be surprised, even military, how many military personnel owe, dog, owe their life to these dogs. My last one, I, I know for a fact, um, the last one I had, he saved, he probably saved my life twice from being shot. Like any public servant, Ike deserved to be spoiled in retirement, like this morning's final meal of steak and salmon. One of his caretakers here providing comfort as he rests in peace. He will have uh, a blanket with him and one of his favorite toys will be with him. All for a fellow officer who was faithful to his last steps. I've had, I've had my, you know, two police dogs and They've never gave me a reason to doubt them. In an act of kindness today, a customer at this vet's hospital who was here for her pet's appointment was so moved by Ike's send-off that she offered to cover his final expenses, including his cremation. In Polk County, Ben Hoover, 7 News.